here she is on my finger. Yeah, she's not interested in biting me or anything. Mike Trout here, and I'm getting ready to shoot off, and I'm compiling all the emails about folks who have sent me notifications about giant hornets in America. And they're here, giant hornets have been in America. They're actually known as um, European hornets, so I call them giant European hornets. They're huge, they're practically the same size as the hornets and they've been here actually since 1850s when apparently they came over from a boat from Europe probably from England or something as a nest and they spread from that one nest and they've been spreading in America the fact is America is so big and there's a lot of basically countryside for them to move in that they haven't really impacted humans yet but that's changing I want to read to you this one email I have just seen your show on Animal Planet. My family has been terrorized by these giant hornets for the last four years. It has been so bad that last year I screened in our carport so that we could have a safe place to get some outside time. Folks being terrorized by giant hornets here, and this is actually in South Carolina, in Liberty, South Carolina. Um, I have searched my yard and trees, neighbor yards for some signs of a nest and had no luck. Well, the thing is they live underneath the house or they live inside a tree they're they're really hard to find now i have techniques um basically setting up feeders and then seeing which way they're flying and then basically tracking and moving that feeder towards the nest that's pretty much the only way you can find them because they can fly up to a couple miles away but the fact that they're so close to his house means they're terrorized so i'm going to give him a call and see if i can reach um, Melvin. Yeah, it doesn't, yeah, they're, yeah, they're, Good. All right. Well, um, the other thing you could do. Okay. In there, yeah, and you could. The other thing you'd do is set up traps. Basically, it's uh, you can you can take a, like a, a a gallon and cut a little triangle in it and push it in at the top. So it's a little you know a little triangle, a little flat they can enter and uh, just put uh, some cheap wine in there and some um, you know some fruit add some water you know and, and and you can set that outside and they'll be attracted to it they'll go in there and they'll drown in the uh, you know in the in it but um, I'm very interested you know I want to come up and uh, see if I can find the nest and uh, you know deal with these these guys yeah, they could. Yeah, they could. They yeah. If they, it sounds like you you got uh, you know uh, a nice little terror spot there, in uh. <laughs> They do. They will. If there's a hole in the tree or, or something, yeah, they like you know. They'll go like probably under a house in you know any place where it's where it's kind of dark and it's cool. They'll you know or, or you know uh, they'll they'll prefer uh, to nest. Um, but like in the holes, you know, like if there's a hole in the tree or stuff like that, they also like to eat sap. So if you see a tree like uh that has sap on it and stuff you may want to keep an eye on any tree that has a you know it looks like it has sap on it probably it's they won't eat
Yeah, they'll eat the sap. They'll yeah, they'll eat the sap. Um, and um, and they're very you know they also will go after bees and anything else you know that uh, op you know opportunistic for them. So. All right, well, I look forward to getting that picture from you, and as soon as I get dates, uh, I'm trying to figure out maybe hit another place, but I'll probably definitely want to come and uh, help you guys out and, you know, and, and uh, see what we can do. All right, Melvin, I'll talk to you later. Yeah. Well, the thing is, the I mean, Florida has a hundred uh, seventy-five thousand dollars allocated for detection of the you know of the hornet. So, see, the thing is, is people don't understand that these things are now because of climate change. It's getting warmer, longer. You know, it's, um, these things are spreading a lot more pervasive in the last twenty years than they've ever done before. And there's going to be a much bigger problem with them. And with our bees in crisis, these can be the tipping point where, you know, they're hungry. They're, you know, they get a, they see a bee hive. They're just going to go after that beehive and just tear it up. Um, so our bees are, you know, are, are in crisis right now. So it's just one more thing. And, and most people don't realize that these giants are here, that these, you know, uh, because America is so big and they haven't had the experience. So I think the show is important to show people that the you know that these guys are here, and if they're not at your house yet, they're going to be at your house. It's just a matter of time. Yeah, can you imagine? Yeah, can you imagine like working on doing a plumber and going under a house, and all of a sudden there's a nest right there, and you know, and uh, that's just a horror story, you know, or 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 your wheat. Yep. Yep. All right, Melvin. I'll talk to you later. Okay. It's good chatting with you. Okay. Bye. So, um, yeah, he's got him, and his neighbor has him, and they've probably been spreading a lot in that neighborhood because each hive is going to put out a hundred, two hundred new queens every year, and like he said, animal control and other people aren't interested in dealing with this. So it's kind of like this new threat that's just just springing up in America. And like I said, the biggest thing that concern to me is not only the potential da danger to human life, but the damage that these guys can inflict on our bee population that's already weakened because of Monsanto and all these other agrochemical companies that are poisoning our water, poisoning the bees, they're weak, and all of a sudden these predators, which are much bigger, and the reason why they're not affected by pesticides is because they eat not only the sap out of trees, they also eat the excretion of the of the um, grubs that they have and put out there. Mike Trout here, just getting ready to go hunting killer hornets in America. So if you've seen these killer hornets, you let me know because I want to come out there and help you. <laughs>